When earthworms are cut in half, do they still know each other? Because earthworms have the ability to regenerate, they can grow new body segments after being cut off. So some people will think that they will become two earthworms after being cut off. What should they call each other when they meet? Hi, brother. In fact, the real conclusion is that both earthworms cannot survive, and earthworms have no consciousness. Earthworms are low-level creatures. Their brains are small and simple, and they can't even control their own muscle activities. They can only handle simple physiological activities, such as movement based on sensing light. In addition, if you poke it, it is just an instinctive reaction to repeat that action. Therefore, it is impossible for earthworms to recognize each other and produce psychological activities such as shock and confusion. Second, and most importantly, when a worm is cut in half, neither will survive. Although earthworms have the ability to regenerate, there are thousands of types of earthworms in the world. And the regenerative abilities of different types of earthworms are also very different. There is a genital ring near the head. Experiments have shown that only the part containing the genital ring can regenerate new skeletal muscles and become a complete individual. For example, an earthworm has 150 segments, and the rings and vital organs are at 11 to 40 segments. When you cut off the first 10 segments of the head, it will grow a new head. When the back 41 to 150 segments would be cut off, then it will regrow a middle part and tail. If it is cut between 11 and 40 knots, the earthworm will basically not be able to regenerate. Generally, the regeneration rate of the tail of the earthworm will be faster than that of the head, and the regenerated earthworm will also be shorter than before.